so you're dealing with a whole lot of data from a whole lot of different devices. Maybe your design includes sensors, meters, and PLCs. And maybe you're collecting this data from a variety of protocols via PLC IO drivers and more. And maybe you're also dealing with analog and digital inputs. You're in luck, because that's what we're talking about in this episode of Chalk Talk. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. One of the biggest challenges with equipment monitoring today includes one critical question. How do I integrate multiple data formats from different devices, equipment, meters, and sensors into my system? Well, in this episode of Chalk Talk, Eric Wang from Advantech and I investigate how the Advantech Wise EdgeLink solution can help you navigate the challenges of data collection in edge applications. We take a closer look at the benefits of the Advantech Wise EdgeLink Smart Getaway family and how you can get started using one of these smart getaways in your next edge application. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Advantech. Hi, Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, Amelia. It's great to be here. Excellent. Okay, so we're talking about edge gateways for equipment monitoring today. But Eric, before we go much further, how do I integrate multiple data formats from all these different devices, equipment, PLCs, sensors, and meters into my system? Yes, I think that is exactly the question uh, most people will ask when building up the monitoring system. So I think there will be two big challenges. The first challenge is how to collect different data source from meters, machines, POCs, sensors. You will use different ways to collect them. The second challenge is updating to the cloud, database or our SCADA system. So you will need to deal with the connection and credential process when connecting data to the system. So it would be a huge task if you want to collect information data from those machines and integrate into the system. Okay, so Eric, what kind of data collection are we looking at here? Based on different data types, it can be roughly categorized into three major ways to collect the data. So the first challenge is how to collect different data sources from the meters, machines, POCs, and sensors. So you can communicate and get data from them. To collect those information, you will need to use different ways to collect them, like I.O. protocols or POC drivers. And the second challenge is how you update that to the cloud. As you know, like different systems, they will have different requirements for the connection. So you will need to deal with all the connection, credential process. So that would be a huge task if you want to collect all the information data and from the machines and integrate that into your system. Okay, so can you explain a bit about the architecture of Wise EdgeLink? The Wise EdgeLink is an edge software pre-installed in Advanced Tech Gateway to deal with data collection and the connection to the cloud, database, and the SCADA. It supports protocols conversion. So by using it, you can collect the machine information from one protocol and convert it into another protocol to adapt to your system. And if you are using the public cloud service, such as Azure, AWS, or SQL database, it deals with the cloud connection process. So all you need to do is type in the credential information that you can push the data to the cloud and database. It also handles the security, POC drivers, and the intelligent event notification functions. Okay, so... Eric, what kind of options do I have when it comes to gateways? So they all support the multiple protocols, POC IO drivers, security, and intelligent functions. The ESRP PCS Adam 6700 series has onboard analog digital IO. And the Adam 3600 series has IO. And I think the main difference is that it has more I.O. expansion for more flexibility in the I.O. combinations. The third one, the ECU 1000 series, is the communication gateway, which doesn't have I.O., 
but instead it has more RS-232, RS-485, and a CAM port for connecting end devices. Okay, so can we dig into the details of these gateways a bit? What about the Atom 6700? What kind of benefits does this gateway bring to the table? It's a Linux gateway. The size is compact and it supports the Edge Link and it has the two Ethernet port and two IS-485 ports. And I think the key difference that makes it stand out from other gateways that it has onboard analog and digital I.O., which can acquire the sensor signals. It's able to communicate through wireless with the wireless expansion accessories. You also mentioned the Atom 3600 as well. Can we take a closer look at that one? So the Atom 3600 is similar to the Atom 6700 series, but the key difference is that it has the I.O. expansion. So by default, the Atom 3600 comes with eight analog input, eight digital input, and four digital output I.O. So user can add more I.O. expansion module uh, based on different uh, I.O. needs in different applications. And so for centralized assistant and the more I.O. number demand, Atom 3600 is a good fit. And for distributed system, the ESRP Atom 6700 series is more suitable. I think Atom 3600 has one RS-232 port, RS-485 ports, and two Ethernet ports. And also, it's a wireless communication option with the wireless accessory. Okay, so you also mentioned the ECU-1000 communication gateway as well. Can we take a closer look at that one too? Mm, Yeah, sure. So the ECU-1000 is positioned as a communication gateway. It doesn't have I.O. as the Atom 6700 and Atom 3600, but instead it has more RS-232 and RS-485 ports. So there are two types of ECU-1000 series. First is the pure communication gateway with Edge Link, like the ECU-1251 and ECU-1051 with 232 and RS-485 ports. Another type is that we see that more users intend to build their own Linux image and run different edge software on the gateway. So the high performance on best gateway like ECU-150 and ECU-1252 are aiming at this market. They are equipped with NXP IDOMX 8 and A9 CPU, the high performance CPU with more storage memory and EPM2 option. So user can implement the edge software and the more flexibility in programming. The ECU-1252 also comes with a two CAM ports. Okay, so let's talk about applications. What kind of applications are you seeing these kind of gateways being a good fit for? I will show you some applications. So one of the applications is in building energy monitoring. So in order to manage the equipment like HVAC and the power meter to collect the data, the ECU-1251 is used to communicate with the HVAC and the meter by the different protocols like uh, BACnet and the MOBUS. After collecting the data from the equipment and the meters, the gateway sends the information to the cloud and the database. And I think the best part is that the data also comes with the timestamps for further data analysis. The watchdog will check the system regularly to assure the system's data ability. Another application shows in this slide is the case for the equipment monitoring in a factory. In the factory, there are a lot of POCs from different manufacturers like Siemens, Allen Brandley, Rockwell. So it would be hard to collect all the information from those different POC manufacturers. So to collect and integrate the POC information, ECU-1051 read the POC IO register with the drivers and then convert it into the OPC UA protocol, which is supported MES and ERP system. So the data from the POC can link to the ERP and MES system with the 
RPC protocol by the gateway to avoid complicated wiring effort. In this case, they add a Wi-Fi accessory to make it wireless communication. In this way, you can avoid the wiring effort. Another case is in the wastewater process monitoring. In this scenario, many sensors are involved. Temperature, uh, ferrometer, pH sensors are used to monitor the water quality. Adam 3600 and the ESRP Adam 6717 measure the sensor signals with onboard IO. They also collect the pump and the meter data through the different protocols. So the data is converted and updated to the cloud features that uh, both of them support the IEC 61131-3 soft logic. Uh, so users can use the POC programming language such as later function block to do a logic control. You can take it like a small controller with the gateway function and bring your data to the cloud. Excellent. Well, Eric, I think that's almost all the time we have for today. But before we go, can you recap your main points for me? Yes. So first is the ESRP add-in 6700 series. It has the I.O. and also the add-in 3600 series. We both have I.O., but a key difference, add-in 6700 is compact size with fixed I.O., but add-in uh, 3600 has the more capability for the I.O. expansion, meaning you can add more I.O. to it. And both of them can do the POC driver and the protocol conversion and intelligent security and the wireless extension. ECU 1000, it's a communication gateway. So compared to the Adam 6700 and the Adam 3600, it has more communication port, more RS-232, 485, or CAN to connect more end devices. All three of them are installed at the edge link with protocol conversion and the other securities. And for the ECU, there are two types. One is the pure communication gateway with the edge link, and another type is high-end on best platform that you can use to implement your own software package and so more flexibility in the programming. So that's the machine monitoring and bring your data to the cloud database and the data system. Excellent. Well, that is indeed all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, Eric. Thank you, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Advantech. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.